Hello friends, welcome back. In this lecture we are going to see cd command. We haven't discussed about to find and grep commands. We'll see these later. So let's go and understand cd command. Currently I am under root directory. Okay. Now I would like to go to the parent directory of root. So parent directory of root is slash. Nothing but this is the ultimate directory in Linux operating system. How it is a C drive in Windows. Once you reach to the C drive you cannot go above to C drive. Right. Same thing happens over here. Now I want to go to the slash directory. To go to the slash directory we have two ways. That is I can use cd dot dot. Usually cd dot dot is used to go to the parent directory. Go to the parent directory of the current directory. So current directory is my root. From root I will go to the parent directory. Now if I do again pwd you can see slash nothing but you are under root directory. You can see the entire your Linux file system hierarchy over here. So these all are the starting directories or file systems on your Linux operating system. I was talking about rm command right. rm minus rf star if you do over here it is going to remove entire your directories. If you remove entire directories what is there to run right. You need to reinstall your entire system. That's why I said it is very dangerous command. Whenever you are a root you should be cautious about that. Anyway now this is my directory structure. If I execute a tree, okay, it would be very lengthy output, but just I will show you how many directories and files are there within your Linux platform. Okay. These all are files. Let me clear the screen. Again, I am giving ls. So far, I am working only on root directory. Now, I would like to work on one more directory called tmp. So, this is our tmp directory. Okay. tmp stands for temp. In this directory you can keep your temporary files. Okay. I want to go inside to the temp directory. In that case you can give the cd tmp. If you are giving directory name that directory name should exist over here. Okay. I cannot give dir1 here right. Because dir1 is available under root directory. So I should go to the root directory then search for dir1. If that is the case I should give root slash dir1. Under root directory there is a dir1 directory. Okay. Now temp we can go directly because in this current location sorry. In this current location we have temp. Okay. Now if I do ls there is a temporary file. Anyway this is how you can go to the temp. And if I do pwd now you can see here you are under tmp directory. Now I want to move back to the dir1 which is there under root. If that is the case what I can do I can go back to one directory then ls and pwd here again I have root root directory cd root and pwd I am under root now ls if I do dir1 is there cd dir1 pwd I am under my dir1. This is how I can shift from one directory to another directory. Initially I was under tmp. Now I moved to the slash root dir1. Again if I want to go back to the tmp. Again I need to go back to the dir1 to slash root. Slash root to again root. Then I need to go to the tmp. Rather than that one we can use the directly cd slash tmp. So what does it mean that don't consider my current working directory. Wherever I am just to search for this particular directory from the starting point. Starting point nothing but this is root right nothing but here. Okay. In this location there is a directory called tmp is there. Go inside to the temp directory. That is the meaning of this one. So if I execute this one directly I will go back to the tmp. I don't want to do cd dot dots or cd directories. Again if I want to switch back to the slash root dir1 I can give the similar way cd under root directory there is a directory called root yes of course we have a root directory under root directory we have a directory called dir1 again go inside to that one this time you can see how simple it is okay this is how you can switch to the your directories now if you are starting your path from the slash then this path we call it as a absolute path. So absolute path nothing but you are starting your path nothing but wherever you want to go you are giving with slash. 
if you give your path without slash then that we call it as a relevant path so let's take an example that again you are under tmp okay sorry cd slash tmp so now you are under tmp now again you want to go back to the slash root i have another way right that is first i will go out from the tmp so i will go back to the slash directory under slash directory we have root under root directory we have dir1 right so if you see here here the path is not starting with the slash it is starting with the dot dot or else just a directory as well this we call it as a relevant path so that is how cd command will work we can switch our directories by using the cd command if you want to go back to only one parent directory then we just use the cd dot dot command that's how it works and if i see pwd again i am under root that's all for this video thanks for watching see you in the next video